Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited to be reviewing this amazing dragon figure for you. This is Tim Coburn, a B-17G waste gunner from World War II, ETO 1944. Um, this is in fact a Dragon USA exclusive figure. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in and take a look at this massive box. There's just this tiny little picture here for you of the actual figure. And it doesn't look like there's any date on this. I'm not actually sure what year this came out, but um, really big box, not much else to show. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, water damage, actually. Um, the figure was brand new, but uh, the seller told me that um, there was some water that leaked onto it so the box is a little bit messed up especially on the side um but it's all right i got it for a little bit cheaper for that reason so inside just a few things here that i'll show you okay so i just left a few things inside of the box i've got uh he's got his trousers there, some patches there that I have not put on the figure because you can't see them. So I just decided to leave them in the box. And then he's also got a whistle, which is really cool. But I decided to leave that in the box as well. So that's it for the box. Let's bring out the figure now. All right, guys, so right now I got him on a Lazy Susan. I know you can't see all of that. Let me actually adjust my camera. There he is. So I've got him displayed. And as you can see, this is an amazing figure. There's another one uh, very similar to him named Billy Hicks that I also uh, really want to get. I'm actually curious. I know they're both supposed to be on different planes, but I'm curious if you could actually somehow combine the two planes. That would be really cool. All right. Well, first let's take a look at... I guess let's take a look at the plane and then I'll show you the figure afterwards okay so here is the B-17 uh, side of the plane and this is um, very impressive actually more impressive than I thought it was gonna be the quality of it is really good I wasn't sure if it was gonna be flimsy like some other um, things like this that Dragon has made. But um, this, I am very happy to say, is very well made. It's a really hard plastic, and it displays really nicely. So very happy with that. Um, the outside looks super cool. Love how that looks. And the gun can be moved. And it moves really well. I love how that looks. Okay, so inside of the plane, I just have some of his accessories here. He comes with uh, these um, flying gauntlets, they're called. In the picture, they have them on the figure, but um, they're just too hard to put on without breaking something, so I've left them off for now and probably permanently but really nice accessories anyway and you can put them on the side there that looks good uh, he also comes with a pair of glasses which is really cool i love little details like that and this i gotta say is uh one of my favorite parts he comes with a rabbit's foot which i love i love small details like that all right um 
can see a strip of ammo here. And then let me I'm not sure if I want to take the gun out. It snaps right into this piece here. Um, there we go. Okay, so here's the gun up close, nicely detailed. You can see the strip of ammo there coming out. They give you sights here for it that you have to put on yourself. That looks good. And um, that does open up. All right, so this is really cool and it's nicely detailed. And like I said, you just, it just pops right into there. There we go. All right guys, well that is the plane. Very impressive. Let me take out the figure for you now. We'll just briefly look over him. All right, so here is Tim Coburn. I really love this figure. Um, he's very nicely detailed. They put a lot of work into him. All right, well, there's quite a lot of stuff packed onto him. So he's got um, this breathing for his breathing tank for his gas mask. That's really cool, it comes with a case. He's got his life vest. Very nice. And you can see he comes with a holster there for his pistol. That is also really cool. I love the uh, shoulder holsters. figure also comes with a wristwatch. Once again, another great little accessory there. Love that detail. And here is his flight cap. That fits very nicely onto his head. You can see he's wearing goggles and then of course his mask there. And the figure also comes with a pair of, um, I guess you would call these headphones. Um, unfortunately, they don't fit well over his head, so I just have them hanging down by his neck. Um, let me show you what I mean. So if you try to get him to go all the way across his head, they don't fully make it and they don't press down nicely and it looks pretty funny i think so i just prefer i mean it doesn't look too bad but that just kind of bothers me so i prefer to just have them hanging over his neck like that um but still it's it's pretty cool let me take off his cap Really nicely detailed. I love the um, the leather design. That's great. All right. Um, you see, this looks a little funny, but the mask, uh, these um, straps definitely got stretched out over the years because it doesn't fit nicely onto his head and it just falls right off so I had to do a lot of twisting to get it to actually stay onto his face but I'm going to take this off so we can take a look at his head sculpt so give me one second
Okay, so there those accessories are. Really nice. And then here is the figure's head sculpt, which is also nicely detailed. I've noticed the USA exclusive uh, figure head sculpts are always really nice. All right. Um, lastly, he's got his bomber jacket. And that looks awesome on the figure. Once again, I love the leather design. That looks great. I also really like his um, forearms here. That's really cool. And of course, the fur is really nice on there. Looks great. And we've got his over trousers. Same material as the jacket, and that looks great. And then his boots, and these are really nicely detailed. I like the, the zippers. Looks great. And I'm, I'm not going to take all this off because it's a bit of a hassle to do that, but underneath he's got his, uh, his GI shirt. And as I showed you earlier in the box, he also comes with the uh, GI trousers if you want to put him in his regular uniform. All right, guys. Well, that's everything to show for Tim Coburn. This is an awesome figure. I really can't recommend him enough. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't originally planning on getting this one, but um, I've been seeing some videos of him or mainly Billy Hicks, and they're both very similar. And um, I just saw how awesome Billy Hicks was, and I really wanted to get one of these guys. So I, I saw Tim Coburn for sale on eBay. I spent um, a little under 300 bucks for him, which I know is very pricey, but considering, I mean, what you're getting here, the figure plus uh, the plane, I mean, this is a great dragon set, and also pretty hard to find, so. Um, I really, if you got the money, I would really recommend picking this one up. This is a great figure. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll show a little clip at the end of him once again displayed, and um, hope you enjoy. So I'll see you next time.